<sighs> Getting chills just staring down at me like that. We have not one, but two Monday night football games for you. Yeah, all right, Kirk. I, I get it. Like, ugh, I, I just, I don't know what it is. He's just staring over me. All right, I feel much better now. Not one, but two same game parlays for you here as well. All right. So we appreciate you as always being a part of the Odd Shopper community, the ever growing, fastest growing sports betting community here on YouTube. So hit the thumbs up button, please, because, you know, that does us a lot. Also, we want you subscribed here. We want you part of that community, right? It's all business when we get to the Vikings and Eagles game, but we've got the Titans and Bills game to look at first. I'll tell you all about how you can turn $10 into $200 free at BetMGM. So trust me, we have a bunch here for you tonight, including, of course, not one but two. Same. We're not going to supersize by any means. Here he is again. Kind of looks like Lindquist, doesn't he? Just just a little bit, right? I mean, who are you going to put your money on, this guy or this guy? That's all I'm saying. We'll get to that game in a second. But, I mean, are you going to go this? Like, look at this. That guy or that guy? Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's head over to BetMGM and start with the Titans and Bills. And then we'll move into a three-leg same-game parlay for the Vikings-Eagles. But... A lot of this, if not all of this, and we'll go to the build section here, is how you see this football game. Do you see the Titans covering that nine and a half, ten? Do you see the Titans pulling out an upset? Or do you see Buffalo winning handedly? Covering anything nine and a half, ten or greater is winning handedly, is not sweating against the Titans. So I like the Titans to cover. I'm not picking them to win outright, but I think we can start here with them to cover. Look. They're still, still trying to find some pieces in the past game, clearly. And a healthy, upright Ryan Tannehill is always going to be the goal here, by all means. But I like the Titans to keep this close under 10 points, by all means. And also, we know that they have means of controlling their, the clock and controlling at least time of possession with a guy like Derrick Henry, who also has the big play capability. So you're not burning clock into the ground just handing it on over to Derrick Henry. I'd also think that the Bills, as much as they can throw the football and as well as they can throw the football, this is also going to be keeping the ball away from Derrick Henry. Look, that total at 47 and a half is low, I think, for both of these two teams who, with the questions we have defensively for the Tennessee Titans, as well as the ability for both teams, Josh, and, and look, just look at the two big main playmakers on the ground we're gonna get to some player props here in a second to add to this but you know you look at the total at 47 and a half and I was a little surprised I thought this would be closer to 49 and a half but the reason why we go over not just the offenses that can move the football and I think Baltimore or Buffalo part of me is definitely a team that people will point to more clearly no argument here than Tennessee in this situation but we go back to the big play capability of Derrick Henry. And then look on the other side, Josh Allen as well. You've got two guys in this game in the league who are right there at the top of being able to turn a rush play, a running play into 80 yards and a score into 65 yards and a score into 33 yards and a score, what have you. But these guys, the big play capability is definitely what I want to target. So if we start to look at it, any time touchdown play here, you're going to get odds, Derrick Henry, Josh Allen. I like Singletary involved in this. We're going to stay away from Knox. We've been burned too many times here. But I also want to target somebody like Josh Allen if we're really going over here, right? So I think, again, this is a case where you're going to go over. The clock's going to move a little bit with the ball on the ground, but not in the typical sense of, oh, it's just going to be burned out. You're going to get some big plays here. So I can go over 280 for Josh Allen. And then that leaves an anytime TD. And again, the easy ones, the ones that aren't going to do anything, we're at plus 525. Just look at what Derrick Henry does. It moves it to plus 700. That's not terrible. Okay. It's not terrible. It's probably not the best reflection of where the odds should shift. That gets us to plus 1200. I don't mind that at all. And then I'm going to play Singletary here at plus 1100. Wait, I feel like I have an equal, honestly, an equal share of Josh Allen getting an anytime TD versus Derek's, uh, Devin Singletary. So let's do this and play Josh Allen at plus 1,200. So we've added that 
to the slip here. Okay, so that's the one game parlay that we've added for the first game. Titans plus nine and a half over 47 and a half. Josh Allen, 280 plus passing yards in a game that should go over that number with points involved, probably playing from either a neutral or behind position if the Titans are covering this and Josh Allen does score anytime is look when the Bills need plays, when the Bills need to get something going here, it's going to be Josh Allen with the football in his hands. All right. So there we have it. That's the first one there for you is that. Same game parlay. We're going to hit another one here in a second. But let me just tell you how to turn $10 into $200. It's going to be the easiest thing you do, especially from a betting standpoint. You can click the link below. It'll bring you right on over to BetMGM. Place Once you sign up, place a $10 wager on any money line play here on either game, and you're going to lock in $200 right back into your account. So think about how easy that sign-up process is for you now. It's just a link. We haven't even clouded you with anything else to remember. And you're signing up, so you're going to put in at least $10. That's fine. You bet that 10 on either money line side in either of the two games, and it's going to be $200 right back free into your account. So looking at an opportunity, again, to build a bankroll, that's what we're trying to do here for you at BetMGM. Even Cousins agrees on this one. Mm, it's just I don't know what it is. Just giving me the chills here. All right, let's hit our second game. All right, now this one is all about a story. And I think when you create stories, you create narratives, you create things that make sense and they correlate, all of a sudden now, things start popping. I don't mind laying the two and a half, by the way, for the Eagles. That's where we'll begin right away. I think that's the easiest thing to target. You're under a key number. I like the Eagles at home, home opener. Kirk Cousins has the worst. Monday night football record. Yes, win-loss is only a stat for a quarterback when you bet. All right, I stand by that. Nothing DFS, I don't care about that. But in betting, I certainly do. He's got the worst Monday night football record in the NFL for anybody who started 10-plus games in, in that spot. So ugh, you, you can already see, I, I, I don't like losers behind me. I like winners right there, all right? If somebody's going to peer down over me and judge me, at least let it be a winner. Eagles minus two and a half. That's where we begin. Ah, you know, I'm not touching this total here. The story, what we're going to tell has to send really around receivers because the two defensive coordinators, the world, the betting public, everybody is going to be focused on this big, bad matchup. And I think from a standpoint of both defensive coordinators, that's really where I'd like to focus. You and I, we, it doesn't really matter. A.J. Brown and Justin Jefferson are going to be major focuses in this game. And both defensive coordinators are going to do everything they can to take Brown and Jefferson out of this game. The play here is the number two. The play here, the guys who are going to benefit more so from anybody else on the field with Brown when his offense is on the field and Jefferson, when his offense is on the field, is Devontae Smith and Adam Thielen, respectively. So, yeah, I, I want to target a big game for Devontae Smith. 60-plus receiving yards, four-plus catches, and I'm going to do the same thing for Adam Thielen because let the world and the two defensive coordinators focus on Jefferson and focus on A.J. Brown. There's going to be an opportunity. We'll do the same thing here, 65. And then also four plus for Thielen. Ah, wow, that doesn't do much for us. Only 15. All right, so we'll get to five. We'll get to five. You, you want a big one? We'll give you a big one. All right, there you have it. Adam Thielen, five plus receptions. That's going to be our same game parlay for the Eagles Vikings. And it just tells a story here about the focus on Adam Thielen and Devontae Smith from our betting standpoint, taking advantage of the defensive coordinators focusing on A.J. Brown and Justin Jefferson. Those guys will still get theirs. Don't get me wrong. But in what should be a higher scoring Eagles victory, that's why we have a minus two and a half. Devontae Smith goes off. Adam Thielen goes off. And then we all go home happy. And we all cash some checks. You ready? Let's go. Hit the thumbs up button.
All right, all you Dallas fans, I had you minus two and a half. Don't worry. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and make sure you take advantage of that link below. Free money for you below at BetMGM. I mean, $10 into $200. You just got two same-game parlays for the price of one, technically for the price of zero, since this is all free for you, including the Odd Shopper site. All right, go Birds.